Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a quick one because I've got a rush off, but I'm coming back later to follow it up with a live stream tonight. So I do hope you'll join me for the live stream. But for now, quick unboxing, very first impressions of Shalimar, the new limited edition one, which is called Millicene Vanilla Planifolia. It's a blind buy and it's actually becoming quite difficult to find I think particularly for those over in the States or outside of Europe but here in the UK or here in Europe I was able to find it on My Origines which is a French site and I understand there's a couple of sites not Galan I don't think Galan have it anymore but a couple of uh, slightly discounted retailers online do have it uh, I found this information out from a, a kind person that shared it in the Guerlain Facebook group. So there's Honeybees and Guerlainophiles Facebook group. If you are really into Guerlain and you want to know everything, then the lovely people there really, I mean, they, and they are really, really, really ensconced in the world of Guerlain and they post amazing pictures and lots of fabulous information and reviews. So I highly recommend checking that Facebook group out if you're into Galan in any way, shape or form. I wasn't going to blind buy this. I decided, I'm just done doing it now. I did have the last uh, Shalimar Flanker Filtre de Parfum. I think it's Filtre, wasn't it? Filtre, yes. And I did review that. And in the end, I sold it. I wasn't madly in love. And I think the thing with that, with Shalimar is I just don't think I enjoy that kind of sharp citrus with the uh, vanilla amber. I, I, I don't generally love citrus and vanilla together. I don't, in some combinations, I don't mind them. Usually I, eat, I prefer citrus without vanilla. That's just my preference. And apparently the, any citrus in here is very muted. Depends at whose review you read. Some people say they don't pick up any citrus. Some people say they get it in a very faint way. Either way, I'm confident this is going to have less citrus. And uh, it apparently has, according to Galan, it does have real vanilla in it. Uh, vanilla planifolia, which is uh, the most common species of natural vanilla you're going to find in perfumery. Although most perfumery doesn't have much or any natural uh, natural vanilla in it at all so look at this beautiful bottle i love it absolutely love it it feels so quality so special i love that so i really hope that i fall in love lola from lola sense or lauren she loves it she's addicted to it who else uh, there was another video that I watched, um, I think he normally posts in a different language, but he did post this uh, review in English and it was a fantastic review. So I'm going to find it and link it in the description below. And there's a few people who I really respect their opinions. Oh, Corrine from Olfactive Stories, I'm pretty sure she really loves this one as well. So let's just um, spray it on. I'm going to do... I'm fresh out the shower, but I did have perfume on and some of it has stuck. So there was a tiny bit of the Angelique Noir uh, that's left over. There's a cat on my wrist, um, on this wrist. I think we're pretty much clean over here. So we're going to go over here. First impressions then. Free sprays there. I'm just going to let the alcohol dissipate to start with. Top tip, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I see so many people spray perfume and smell it immediately. You're going to overwhelm. You, your nose has these delicate receptors inside. If you go and spray and smell immediately, you're almost going to overwhelm those receptors with the alcohol and that initial first blast of perfume. You don't want to go right up close and smell it. And actually, I'm smelling this right now in the air and i'm really enjoying it so it is absolutely a vanilla perfume that's what i smell in the air a really gorgeous sort of powdery vanilla 
I'm smelling. So now let's smell it up close. Yeah, I do get a little bit of citrus. So uh, some people say they don't get any citrus. I definitely do. But it is not sharp. It's almost like lemon drops. You know, uh, lemon, what are they called? Lemon sherbets. So like a um, a rounded, a, a, re a lemon hard candy. So like a rounded uh, lemony type scent. A smoother lemony type scent, not a really harsh, sharp one. And I do get that it's a Shalimar. So it does have some of those, those coffee those denominators that are in all of the Shalimars. It does have some of those things going on. Uh, not the soufflers, actually. The soufflers are really quite different to the original Shalimar, but the other flankers. Yeah, there's this really unusual... How do I describe it? Almost medicinal element to it at the moment. I've heard that there's still a, a, a leather in here. I don't really smell leather. More something so like a natural medicine. Um, not quite sure. I'm thinking, um, so people talk about a band-aid or a plaster note in Shalimar and I do feel like I'm getting that a little bit. When I first sprayed it, I, it smelled to me like it was mostly vanilla. In the air, mostly this lovely, soft, almost powdery vanilla. Up close, there's a lot more to it. And it is it's definitely not uh, an, a basic vanilla or a typical crowd-pleasing vanilla heavy scent. Not up close anyway. Yeah, it's starting to settle. That kind of medicinal thing is calming down already. So I'm happy about that because I wasn't loving that. Yeah, I can smell some leather actually. I can smell a soft leather, not anything too hard. Uh, there's a, a leather in here that's, I wouldn't call it suede. It does feel like proper leather, but it's, it's not too strong. Mm. And now the vanilla is coming through. It's a bit like the vanilla in Spirit Choose Double Vanille, in that it has a, a mildly, almost rum-like tone to it. So uh, Planifolia vanilla usually comes from the island of Reunion, which used to be called Bourbon or Bourbon. And that is not to be confused with the whiskey or the biscuits. So here in the UK, we have Bourbon biscuits and they're chocolate biscuits with a, a chocolate cream in the middle and uh, they're very very common and they're almost like a, a, a British staple in the cupboard to bring out with a cup of tea and then of course you have bourbon whiskey which is a spirit but uh, the bourbon vanilla is not has, has no relation to alcohol whatsoever although you do use alcohol to get the vanilla out of the pod um, but it, it just has this mildly rum-like nuance to it. It's, it's like a, a multifaceted kind of sp spiciness, but it's not really, it's not like ginger or nutmeg or cinnamon. It's just uh, like a dark spice, but not too peppery as such grounded uh the the citrusy stuff is already gone and this is very grounded it's, it's very much kind of it has a slight earthy tone to it not that it smells like soil but it is just very much a grounded earthiness you could almost say slightly mineral. So more now, it's it's like a, a mild leather mixed with a, a rich, multifaceted, slightly spicy, 
brown feeling vanilla so this is not a cupcake vanilla yeah this is really changing it's fascinating i'm happy so far so i am going to wear it as my scent of the day and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back later for the live stream and the live stream is going to be about not only this but i've been doing some research on vanilla so I'm going to go more in depth on vanilla in general and maybe bring some of my favourite vanilla perfumes to the live stream. So if you are up for it, it's probably going to be about 8 or 9pm UK time tonight. Bring your vanillas along and we can talk all things vanilla. If you've got this or any of the Chalamars, the original or any of the flankers, bring those along as well and we can talk about those too. But for now, that's it. I'm done. Have to get on and I'll catch you all hopefully this evening.